Hello everyone. You're yeah, welcome to FUCO Mathematics. And um, in this video, we'll be providing the complete solution to this equation y to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 2 equals 20. So we want to provide a complete solution to this problem. And I am tempted to look at this and express this in this form. Now, from this 20, I can express, um, okay, this is what I will do, y to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 2. Every time you have a problem like this, you look at what you have on the other side. Can it be expressed in the form of what you have on the left hand side? For example, 20 is 16 plus 4, right? Now, if I have y to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 2 equals 16 here, is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. Then plus 4 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Now, compare what you have on the left to what you have on the right. y to the power of 4 is 2 to the power of 4 on the right. y to the power of 2 is 2 to the power of 2 on the, li on the right, meaning that our y is definitely 2. But if you conclude that y is 2, then you'll be having just one solution. And the question says we should solve it completely. Let me write this for emphasis. We are to solve this completely. So this means that um, y is equal to 2 cannot be the only solution. Now what do we do? Let's regroup. We have y to the power of 4. Then this is 2 to the power of 4. Then plus we have y to the power of 2. This comes here to become minus 2 to the power of 2. So this is what we have. And from here, there is something we can do. I want to be able to apply, this is equal to zero. I want to be able to apply difference of two squares here and here, because we can separate it and deal with it like this. This is y to the power of two to the power of two. Then minus two to the power of two, then to the power of two. Okay, then plus we have this y squared minus 2 squared. Everything is 0. From here now, we have y to the power of 2 to the power of 2, then minus 4 to the power of 2. Because 2 squared is 4, then the one outside is here. Then plus y to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now, I can apply difference of two squares here and here. a squared minus b squared is a plus b into a minus b. So if that is the case, my a now is going to be y squared. So I write y squared plus b, right? And my b is 4, so I'll write 4 here. Then open the bracket. What do we have here? From um, here now, we're going to have y squared minus 4. This is difference of two squares for this. Then for this, we have plus, open bracket, we're going to have y minus 2 into y plus 2. Everything is equal to 0. Mind you, the one that comes first does not matter. It could be y plus 2 into y minus 2, or y minus 2 into y plus 2. Now, we will look at this and then look for a way to proceed from here. By looking at this, you discover that we don't have common terms here. This is y squared plus 4, and this is y squared minus 4. Here again, we can apply another difference of two squares. So I have y plus 4, okay, y squared plus 4, into, from difference of two squares, this is to give us y plus 2 into y minus 2. So this is the difference of two squares, 
for what we have right here. Then plus here we have y minus 2 into y plus 2. And everything is 0. Now there's already a common factor. The common factor is y plus 2 into y minus 2. So it comes out y plus 2 into y minus 2. This is a common factor. So we continue. Okay, so if this common factor goes out, here we have y squared plus 4. Then on this side, the whole thing is out. y minus 2 into y plus 2 divided by itself will give me plus 1. If you like, let's do this. This is this, and from here we have 1. Close the bracket, and then we equate to 0. So y plus 2 into y minus 2. Then here we have y squared plus 5. Because 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 0. And um, at this point, what do we do? We are going to equate all of this to 0. So it is either this is equal to 0, this is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0. It doesn't matter how many times you are multiplying to get 0. It means that either of them or all of them will be equal to 0. So from here, I will say y plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Or this one here, y minus 2 is equal to 0. Or I'll go over to this y squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So if this is the case, y from here will be 0 minus 2, y from here will be 0 plus 2, then y squared from here will be 0 minus 5. Now, if I continue, y from here is minus 2, right? Then y from here is equal to positive 2. Then y from here, first of all, y squared from here will be equal to negative 5. Now, we've already got the value for y on this side. To get this side, we will square both sides. So y will now be square root of um, positive or negative, square root of negative 5. And square root of negative 5 is y equals to plus or minus square root of negative 5 is i root 5. And this is a 2 in 1 solution because of the plus or minus. Now, let's get the four solutions together. We get the first one as y1 and that is minus 2. Our y2 is the second solution and that is 2. Then y3 is the third solution which is from here. So I'll pick positive i root 5. Then we have the next one, i4, and that is negative i root 5. Right? So from here, we have the four solutions. Thank you for watching. If you love the method I applied, subscribe to my channel and say something positive at the comment section. Thank you. This is Few Cool Mathematics.